Hello my friends, Mr. Nomad Ben here. Today's Vlogmas adventure, we're just going to drive through downtown Dalton and parts of the town to check out some Christmas lights in the city and outside of the city. I want to invite you guys to come and check out the bright lights. Here we go. Our first stop, we're at the Wren's Nest Center. Basically going back to the pilot where I shot my first episode. Get a closer look at the lights. I wouldn't say these are Christmas lights, but these lights are kind of all year round. But it's always a great way to kind of kick it off with lights that surround it here. And of course, the lights in the back over here. Then you would turn around, there's more lights that surround it. If you guys could see it, there's that guardian angel always looking over you. And right off of Doug Gap Road, you see a big sign that says Merry Christmas. Covered in wreaths and lights. Beautiful Merry Christmas sign. And right off of Walnut and Doug Yap Road is the Phillaheads Garden Center. We got their big light tree up there. And right off of the First Presbyterian Church, off of Tibbs Road, is a field of lights. But of course you can't get in because it's somebody's house. We got two soldiers kind of guarding their door. But we'll go ahead and take a look what's inside. So to really get a good look at these lights is off the Tibbs and Maple Way. God bless America. And here's another view of the lights over here. It says peace on earth. Yeah, some pretty cool lights. As we enter downtown Dalton, all through Thornton Avenue, it's filled with bells. So we're on Hamilton Street in downtown Dalton. They got their light displays lit up at some of their stores, and they got wreaths all lit up. And even over here, they even got themselves a Christmas tree right in the middle of the town. Let's get a closer look at that tree. And here's the tree right by the amphitheater. You got a snowflake instead of a star or an angel. That is a really cool tree. Very bright lights. St. Ives Realty Incorporated got some of their lights up. That well, looks like it's part of the glass, but really it's not. But that's actually a pretty cool design here. By Vapor's Alley, they got their little Christmas display. Give the gifts of adventure scouting. They got a Christmas tree filled with blue lights. At Jack's Pawn and Gun Shop, they even got themselves a display in here. Hopefully we get a good view. There's all Kris Kringle with some presents, some Yeti coolers and cups, some more presents, and a tree filled with antlers. So kind of makes me question what he did with Rudolph and Blitzen. And we can see through this display, got some elves, a little Christmas tree, Kris Kringle. And then we got these guys over here. Looks like some kind of rock band. So 
So it would be called Frosty and the Snowmen? Because that's definitely uh, an attire right there. Some guitars, another tree, and there's Kris Kringle. Kind of crazy that Frosty is actually taller than Santa in this one. And there's Rudolph. So I guess he's safe from that tree over there. So I found out that that display is actually it belongs to the Boy Scouts of America. Probably makes sense why it's called Give the Gift of Avengers of Scouting as Boy Scouts of America. This, I found this buddy here at the Dalton Gold and Silver. Every time I walk by the statue of Joseph E. Johnson, especially in Christmas time, I don't know why he doesn't get involved in the Christmas spirit. I mean, at least put a hat on him or something. I saw a white Christmas tree with some blue lights in the window. Back down this way. And of course, I think I give a lot of love to this particular peacock here. Every time I'm in the city, the Nutcracker Peacock. I don't think they did a show this year because of the pandemic. But you gotta give this peacock a lot of love. Of course, there I am. If you see me through the mirror, hello. And we got some lights right over here. I want to go ahead and get a closer look at that. Jesus Christ, Mary and Joseph, Frosty, and the Grinch. So this property is actually family friends of my wife's side of the family. And every year they post a Christmas display on the property. And we all drive through and get way in there that way. Then we make our way out. Peace on Earth. And we got some American soldiers saluting you when you walk in. We're really driving. There you go, it says drive through right there. I know my grandfather would definitely appreciate this. It's Santa Claus playing golf with Rudolph. Instead of Grandma getting run over by a reindeer, it's Grandma got ran over by a monster truck with a reindeer in it. Well, sorry to disturb your bath, Mr. Claus. We got a duck, a dinosaur, a rat, a possum playing banjo music. There's a minion. And there's Spongebob Squarepants. Well, hello, Santa. And there's Olaf. And a very happy birthday to Jesus. But then the Grinch is telling you to stop. And then you're greeted by... Two versions of Snoopy and Woodstock. Look at that, some penguins playing squirt guns with fish. Snoopy making an ice. And there's my friends, Moody and Mickey. A little choo choo train display. Let it snow. One small child in a land of a thousand. One small king of a savior. Hey, check it out. Santa's driving a Christmas train with Minnie and Mickey in it. Minions and Frosty. That's awesome. And everyone is saying goodbye. And it's still football season. Santa is kicking the football over to the reindeer. And they're also playing some ball, too. Santa looks like he's hitting a home run. That's the property, y'all. The drive through property. That was awesome. Well, my friends, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for joining me today as we drove around in parts of Dalton to check out some light displays. If you like this particular video, give this video a thumbs up. Showed you enjoyed yourself and you cared. 
And if you're new to my channel or you've just been a casual viewer and you haven't just done it yet, make sure you hit that red subscribe button right down below. Also, I went to this amazing light show in Rock City Gardens in Lookout Mountain, Georgia. I didn't vlog it, but however, I did little videos and photos. I'm going to kind of edit it later on and call it a photo sode. It will be posted on my Instagram. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet or checked out my stuff or my adventures or the things I eat or drink, just go ahead and click the Instagram link in the description below as well. Other than that, my friends, sayonara. Stay tuned for the final episode of 2020 for the Mr. Nomad Ben Show. It will be the season finale. So I'll see you guys in the next Vlogmas video. Thank <laughs> you.